yeah. actually got a disaster. Yes, the rat, rat, rat eating one. Um, it's this one. Nothing you can do about it. They're already there. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's quite yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's annoying. Especially, like, I hate it when it's, it's a situation. I mean, we are obviously in a good situation with food. Like, you, you have 350 food plus food. So you should not have an issue with that. But, like, when you're at a situation where you're like, oh, like, I, I need all the food. And then there's, like, a rat disaster and they eat half of your crops from a field. That's when you're, like... Yeah, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Paradox Interactive Twitch channel or Steam, whichever way you're watching this. Uh, my name is Joanna Lankoski, and I am the QA manager at Iceflake Studios. And today we will be playing our game Surviving the Aftermath. Um, which should be familiar to at least a few of you already since we've been playing this uh, as a weekly stream for a few weeks now, I think. Um, with me today is a very special guest, somebody who hasn't actually been in these streams before. Um, and he is Yuso, one of our programmers. Welcome Hello. to the stream, Yuso. Super nice to have you. Um, I've always loved talking about the game with you, so I figured like you would be one of the best people to have in the stream and I also um, maybe it's the QA manager in me I don't know but I always love having programmers here um, possibly because I think you guys don't necessarily play the game enough so this is at least <laughs> a way of forcing you guys to play it a little bit and seeing what our players are seeing um, let's not forget about some of the uh, features we've gotten included in the game simply just by having our programmers play it and notice the annoyances. Um, very good example is the de deconstruct and repair tools that we have. Oh yeah, <laughs> for yeah. sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think we can first off like just continue with the game. Uh, so those of you who, are, who have been uh, watching weekly, uh, this is a save that was originally started actually by me and one of our other programmers on save way back when and has since been continued by Mati and Venla who are our other hosts and then our other guests who have been visiting the streams, uh, various members of, of our our uh, development team here. Um, I'm not sure what's happened because I actually missed the stream last week. I was not able to watch it. So, but I've been told by Venla that there might be a situation here. Um, at least what we can see is that there is a water shortage and oh, there's yeah. a heat wave. <laughs> yeah, there's something. There's something for yes, sure. Yes, <laughs> there's definitely something happening. So you, so you have the control. Uh, so let's Ooh. see how you survive the aftermath easily. <laughs> okay, so we are actually out of the heat wave now. Okay. Good. Maybe we didn't Luckily, need the water well. I mean, well, that's, that's it's, fine. It's always the good things you have. Yeah, though, yeah, water yeah. wells. They're not that expensive. And it is something that really you should always have just an excess of like the water yeah. itself, um, especially considering there are so many different things that can cause you to need a lot more water, like the heat wave and the pandemic and uh, loads of infections happening around the colony and yep. everything like that. So there's a lot of things that you can you can definitely help with. Um, but so um, I think I don't know if we have any sciences that are currently being researched. Oh, Maybe that's we true. Should, we should check out if there's. I mean, there could be acute research as well, but I doubt it since we do have a, quite a bit. Yeah, of, we have a lot of points, so I yeah. think we have. Let's see what. Okay, so we are. We have oh. a handicraft. We don't have trade center, but clearly, yeah. like that's something that could be. Yeah, could be a good yeah, choice. We yeah, we have tried yeah. to at least accomplish. At uh, the food side. Yeah, I think the food think side is pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's I fine don't at the moment. We, we have we have cool yeah. cows, which is the most important thing to like get yeah. kind of early-ish. Uh, I'm I'm gonna actually argue you on that. I think basic farming that's that's gotta be the most important one that you you could. Well, like. it's on the same lane, yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, I mean, you, you usually you don't take before. the ice fishing unless yeah. like you really want to like prepare for the winter. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yep. Yeah. Um, anybody um, in chat have an opinion? What, what do you think is the mo most important tech in the beginning that you guys like? Um, I mean, like personally, I actually think the tech. I think it's called nurses that gives you the second work slot for medic tents. I think that's like that one. That's yeah. my go-to. Yes. So, I mean, usually you haven't started anything, so I you think, go ahead. I think I actually want to take the healing speed as well. Yes, because yes. like once people start getting mutated, like those are so slow to heal. Yep. 
Yep. So let's just queue that actually. Yeah. So that's yeah. 150 points. Yeah, but so I mean, we will still have like 300 points. Yeah, and I exactly. think you have a special is actually gathering science points even. At the yeah, moment. yeah, at the moment. So we're going to get more of them. Um, uh, yeah. We have Lumberyard here, which has cleared all the trees. Yeah. Trees. So I think that's something we want to move. Do we have a forest there, actually? That's that's uh, one thing I want to check. Because I, I like having at least one forester running at all times. Yeah. Yep. So that's a trapper with really dense forest. Yeah. We have a school. We... I don't actually usually build school in my colonies. Um, oh, it's no like, education. <laughs> yeah, it's very late into the game that I'm like, okay, maybe I'll build the school. It's it's good looking building, so. Yeah. Oh, you I have don't... a specialist in danger. Oh, oh. oh, no wonder. Yeah, yeah, you're going to want to... 6 HP and we take 10 damage, so we will want to cancel this for sure, yeah. Yeah, 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 no way. Yeah. And let's just return to calling. We don't have concrete scavenging either, which... Yeah. It's probably not super important for now. No, but, but like... it'll, it'll be important in the future, that's yeah. true. You also don't have actually any carriers left. Uh, I think one of your carriers... Yes. Died, so. Oh, we have an event. Colonist yes, is acting do. weird. What could be wrong? Let's see. Oh dear. And we actually have the Twitch vote oh. system in place. Um, so anybody watching right now, if you vote in the Twitch chat, these will be counted. And then uh, whichever vote gets the most. Uh, obviously, with the events, user can still decide if he wants to listen to you guys or not. That's completely up to him. Um, but then again, you never know when there is the next catastrophe striking, then he won't be able to affect the choice. So whichever choices you make will be over here. Um, but yeah, this yeah. this is one of my actually least favorite events. I I I, I feel like this is such a like it's such a doom and gloom kind of event because it's like uh, there's you know there's something off of one of your colonists and everything and you're kind of like ah oh, I already have all all these things to do I don't want to get a sick colonist as well right now. <laughs> yep. Oh, so we, we have a vote on the number yeah. two, which is check the water, which is probably the smart smart yeah. thing to do. <laughs> that is that sounds like a good. Oh, it's okay. So so, so I think we. Are definitely going for the number two yes. option. Yeah, yeah, let's go for that. We actually got let's another vote, but it's just missed it. Barely missed, yeah. So we only got one radius in sickness, which, like, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, one like, you don't have that sickness. big of a colony, though. So uh, we don't have that big of a colony. So uh, it, it does, it's always a hit, but it, it's only one. So that is a good thing. That's yeah. for sure. But we have, like, three medical dents actually going on, which. Yeah, it should be, a, yeah, no way we have an issue with yeah. that. I don't actually know um, what is the best way to have medical tents. Should, like, should we have more medical tents or like fewer but with more workers? I, I personally think that the more medical tents you have, the better. Simply because the medical tent can always have two occupants in it. So, and one person doing like the healing. So if you have two medical tents, then you can have four people in them or for uh, sick colonists in them, which means that you can get them healed, but it is slower. So then there's always kind of a little bit of a trade back with that. So I, I think it all depends on like the size of your colony, but I strongly recommend always having at least like two uh, of them, simply because of, especially the bigger your colonies. I mean, we're right now at 39 colonists, so we're not that big, but we could definitely run into issues if we had fewer than that. Yeah. So let's Ooh. see what we Oh, we had an explosion over yeah, here. Yeah, we had pollution uh, deposits. Uh, <laughs> let out some gas. <laughs> <laughs> and all of our pens are like yeah. completely yeah. destroyed. So, but it's nice we have maintenance depot, so we don't ha actually have yes. to address it in any way. No, it's it's good taking care of it. And I mean, I have to say, right now here is would be a perfect example if we didn't have uh, the maintenance depot here uh, taking care of these uh, buildings. The tools that were added in, I believe, it was the last update that we did. Um, the tools for deconstruction and then repair are amazing at this situation. Like just really quick to just make sure that all of your buildings are repaired. So really recommend having those and utilizing them. Um, it took a little while for me to get used to them, but after like getting used to them, 
you have to use them. They're so much easier. Yep. So you, so you've been working as a programmer for quite a while now on Surviving the Aftermath. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about like different systems that you've been working on? Uh, like what are what are the things that players right now can see in the game that are actually done by you? Um, so very first thing that I like big thing that I worked on when I came to Ice Flake. Oh, we have space shock. <laughs> um, was the happiness system. Uh, it's rework, which like came out to players like last autumn, like September yeah. maybe, or something around that. And I think that's probably my favorite thing that I've done so far as well. I worked a lot on the main quest as well, which came out when the game was officially released out of the early access. But the happiness system was fun thing to do because like it managed buildings, new buildings came to, came to the game. And at the same time, it affected how the colonists work when they are unhappy and how, when they are happy. So it like affected a whole lot in the game, which was really fun, fun thing to do. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, it was a big yeah. rework, though. Like, I remember you guys working on it, and it was it was such a huge thing. I mean, obviously, we had happiness buildings before, and then we kind of just started reworking them because they weren't really working as well as they should have been. Um, so, yeah, that was a big thing. And obviously, like you mentioned, the main quest as well. So uh, how was working on that? I mean, that was it's such a huge quest to think about even like just all the phases and everything. So um, uh, would you want to like share a little bit about how was that going on and everything? So that was quite an like uptake um, because I hadn't touched world map, the game's world map um, on the like coach side at all before that. So, so it was like a big thing to like study and learn how it actually works before doing anything or planning anything mm -hmm. and like bringing a big thing for players to do for a whole like whole game pretty much mm -hmm. after the early steps you unlock the main quest and like balancing that uh, how it works of course our designers like did a huge huge work <laughs> huge amount of work yes. um when they designed thing and I was like doing the programming side. So yeah, because of the sheer size of it, like it was kind of crazy, <laughs> crazy even. Yeah. How yeah. It, it, it's a how huge question. I mean, I think yeah. it's something that like uh, people don't even realize like how many steps you had to do and everything, like make sure that everything is working. Um, not just like the quest itself, but like all the um, uh, like out outpost engineering outposts and everything like that. So uh, I was definitely impressed when I first played it. Um, even though obviously when I was playing it, it was it was not as well done as it is now because there was a few, <laughs> few bugs here and there and everything like that. But that's what that's what my team is here for for sure. Yeah. So okay. Oh, okay. we're going to the world map now. Yeah, Scrappa actually came back. Um, so I'm I'm definitely wanting to like get this quest because it's yeah. so close yeah it's so yeah. close so it's nice to get it out of the way so new quests can actually yep. spawn oh, oh here's again a vote yeah. i actually haven't seen that this integration myself before <laughs> which is like crazy so this is a completely new thing for me this as is well. completely new. i think we can skip this because we're not gonna abandon the quest so you can go ahead and skip this That's in, in true. this situation That's true. so let's just go ahead let's follow um, the tracks um so yeah find, finding yep. the attackers Oh dear, but it's attackers, so do you it's really want to go? Bad. Yes. We, we are not probably going to like do the quest, but we have the location spawned. And yep. actually, it isn't a bandit camp. Nope, so not yet, at least. I wonder what it actually is when we get there. That happens <laughs> maybe next world map turn, so maybe, we don't need maybe. to, yeah, we no, don't we need can to care about it, it yeah, at sure. the moment. Yeah. Um. So one thing I did here was the food storage, mm -hmm. um, which I moved closer to the fields, because we have a lot of um, housing here. And mm -hmm. when they are sleeping and getting hungry, they don't need to run like whole huge way back to the campsite where both of the yeah. food storages are. Yeah, that's a, 
do bring your decision differently. I think that's one of the challenges even in our game, where some people don't just, like, you, you have to make sure that these are close by and everything like that. Oh, we have a survivor group! Survival and there's a group. specialist with them! Yes! Yay! Good. This is perfect, and we yes. are definitely accepting them. <laughs> oh, and I think Pinkman is one of those guys who has a lot of attack points, right? Yes! yes. 25 damage, so if you, go, you, you do have to He has a really bandit. good scavenge as well, so... Yeah. So yeah, we are searching for additional resources, yeah. so we got a lot of meat, actually, and nice. our weapons, so that's... Yeah. That's great. That is a good option, for sure. And I think next turn we might actually just drop those off at the colony, even. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a pretty good plan for sure. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, so where is Pinkman going then? Like, you have six action points. Like, they are pretty slow, which is like. They are pretty slow, friends. which is the weakness definitely for them. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, how much do we have the scouting stat? I wonder. I think this doesn't take 22 um, hours, so that's one day. And yeah. we we get to no. I mean, uh, if it's six, it takes the two turns though. It does take two turns. Yeah, it takes two. Yeah, yeah. It takes two turns. I mean, you can send them there, or you can make them maybe scavenge for something. I mean, there's iodine pills there, so yeah. Um, I don't think we need any of these around here. Yeah. I mean, do we have boxes though? Like talking about the happiness system, we're about to be. We are actually over the threshold already, where we need to yeah. start looking at the happiness system. Yeah, we have demand minus seventeen, so we would yeah. need we would need some fun bucks. Uh, how much yeah. do we have? Those zero at the moment. Oh, zero. So maybe yeah, we... that's something we need to address. But uh, I was yeah. sending Pinkman down the to the south yep. because there's yep. the bandit sector oh. as well, and Pinkman is a good, good one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good option. Yeah, for sure. We don't actually have any science points either, so I don't know if we could actually address the happiness situation right now. Uh, considering that all the happiness buildings or, or entertainment buildings are all um, behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, the science. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also a thing we need to address. Um, yeah, there's a lot, lot of things to do at the moment yeah. actually, because we need to get the cookhouse thing going so we don't have, we have the people, meals, yeah. meals yep. available. Um, but the happiness system isn't too punishing at the start. Like when no. we are below like 60 colonists, it's not too bad because of the entertainment doesn't ramp up That's that true. hard. Yep. That's true. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, like we can do a lot of things just be with like ensuring they have a nicer uh, living situations. They're not hungry. They're not, they're, they don't have any conditions. Those kind of things already affect happiness as well. So there's a lot of things that we can do before actually going for. Um, improving the actual like or adding in the happiness buildings themselves to the game or the colony itself we yeah. actually got the disaster yes, the rat, rat rat eating one um it's this one nothing you can do about it they're already there yeah it's <laughs> It's quite yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> it is. It's 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 annoying, especially like I hate it when it's it's a situation. I mean, we are obviously in a good situation with food. Like you you have three hundred and fifty plus food, so you should not have an issue with that. But like when you're at a situation where you're like, oh, like I I need all the food, and then there's like a rat disaster, and they eat half of your crops from a field. That's when you're like, yeah, oh. it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Outback Radio. Um, not sure if our chat people know this. This is actually the quest from the DLC content. Um, so any of those who don't already own it, this is this kind of shows you a little bit about like the quest itself that's happening in there. Um, no uh, Twitch vote at this time because there is only one option, so you could only vote for one thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we can probably go ahead with this. Awesome. And we unlocked the radio tower from this event, which uh, actually enables the spawn of the net, uh, like bigger side quest, mm -hmm. which has a lot of interesting stuff in it. So that's definitely yeah. an exciting thing to do. Yes, it is. I mean, um, that's one of, one of the things that I, I really always liked about um, like the Ultimate Colony. Uh, DLC content that we have with it. Um, I, I, I really like the fact that there's a quest itself, because I think those are like um, this, but like, surviving the aftermath is not a story-based game. That's that's for sure. Everybody knows that. It, it's it's a story. It's a game where you create your own story. It's a game where you create your own colony and just kind of like want to kind of 
think about like your colonists and where is your colony going? Do you want to focus on this or that or what's happening? But I think I really like the quests because they do bring in a little bit of story, but it's not actually like something that affects uh, as much like your colony side. Like it's not that it says like, oh, now your colony decided to do this and that's it. That's what it does. But it's it's actually just like these story tidbits. And I really like the stories themselves that are in the quest, actually. So this, this is one of my favorite quests actually, as well. Yeah. And since it's like bigger side quest, it's really like fun thing to do. Because usually the side yeah. quests aren't that long. No, like they no. take a couple of world map turns depending on where the location spawn and then it's yeah. over. But the um, DLC uh, quest is like a lot longer with Yes. I like. We have a Ooh. situation at the gate. We um, do. But we have a four guard post and we oh, have two guards at the gate. Oh, you're ready for them. Yes. Yeah, like Let's whatever see. happens, but we have <gasps> to. Oh, Chad, Whoa. what do we want to choose? We can't give them medicine since we don't have that, but we could give them silver. That's a we lot do. of silver to give. That Especially is because we are very prepared for the fight. So Yeah, that is. Um, we could also just go back to the colony view, kind of like uh, nobody's here. We didn't see anything, but then that's they might not, not like it very much. Yeah, yeah, probably not. Yeah, and then obviously we have I have nothing for you, which would be a a little bit of a it's provocative. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's, <laughs> it's quite provocative for sure. Yeah, um, so maybe they else? like just leave. Maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah, because we all know how that works out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, Chad, number one for Give Them Silver, number three for Back to Colony View, number four for I Have Nothing for You. You have six seconds. Do we get any votes? Sure, we have our face cams blocking the yeah, it, uh, it, it options. Is. But oh, no, no options here. It's a bit of a shame, but... Um, yeah. So, so I, use group, you gotta, where, where do you want to go for? Uh, I don't want to give them silver, because I know the uh, specialist hiring costs around like 600, maybe 700. Yeah. It like hovers oh, around that. Oh, we had that. a comment saying number one. We have oh. a person <laughs> saying number one. Hmm. You don't 400 have is a big that. price, yeah. Yeah. Um... If we have such uh, like solid defense at the moment, I think we are yeah. fine with provoking <gasps> them. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, joint. I think I'll go with the four. Uh, yes. If we didn't have the guard towers, maybe I would give them silver. Yeah. Maybe. But we have nothing for them. Yes. We need the money to get a specialist person to yeah. do some yeah, work at the... Let's uh, see, let's see. I mean, we do uh, have, a, like, we have two uh, colonists working at the gate as well, so we might be in a good situation. Um, just checking in the, sla uh, the chat. So, Nuclear Snake, any schedule when the decoration tab bug will get fixed? It keeps scrolling and scrolling. Sorry, we are still working on that one. It is a nightmare. We don't know why it's it's being such a difficult one. Um, I don't think Yuzu has been working on it personally, but it is the one where if you're using a controller, the decoration tab at a specific point will just keep like bouncing around. Uh, for some reason, it's just because it's not happening on the PC, so it's super difficult to debug and fix and like just investigate. So we've had several people looking at it. I'll, I mean, we do have you over here, so you so tell us a little bit like how if you, how much you would <laughs> want to work on this. Oh, a pollution explosion as well. Again, Again. um, yeah. So the. UI scrolling bug. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've actually looked at it myself. Yeah, um, I think we've had a few other programmers who've been looking into it at some yeah. point. Yeah. Um, but it definitely like messes with the like the scrolling thing. It's yep. super annoying thing to like deal with. Yeah. Um, and I believe there was like some uh, the same kind of bug in the pre-game. Uh, okay. Because the specialist selection is also a scroll bar, so I think oh. that there was like a same kind of bug there. Yeah, which I think was that, fixed. Yeah. yeah, I believe. <laughs> I at believe least, it was at, fixed. at least nuclear snake. If if that's happening with you on pre in the pregame, let us know as well. Um, at least as far as I've known, it's it's mainly just the decorations that which has been a nightmare for it, it being only in a very specific place. So no idea. Um, but hey, we'll try and make sure. That we'll get them, like, get our programmers to look into it even more. 
we have actually a few other questions here. Um, excuse me, your scrapper is away and hard fight might need to pay them off. That's why excuse me was uh, kind of saying uh, just the uh, number one option. And probably for the best, since you paid them off. Yeah, if, if like if you would have paid them off, they might have returned back. So in a way, it was good to kind of challenge the group of, of uh, a group at the gate. Um, but yeah, excuse me, time to upgrade the gate. Maybe we should, but I don't think we uh, have the upgrade unlocked. Do we have it? Yeah, I don't think we have the... Oh, no, we no, don't. We don't. Oh. And how far is that actually in the... It's I don't uh, remember this. It's yeah, it's the last the tab. Intro. Yeah, yeah, he saved it. So the reinforced gate would need the general storage unlock as well. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit costly, especially because we need to address the happiness yeah. happiness system. So, so not happening this time, at least. They're not <laughs> happening this stream. Maybe next week. Maybe. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens next week. Hopefully, yeah. I I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, we have a vote for the next catastrophe. Everybody who is in chat, if you want to vote for a catastrophe that will strike. Probably actually next stream. So whatever you guys decide, whoever will be playing this stream, playing this save. Let's see. Oh, oh three seconds. Oh, there we have. I want a meteor oh, Meteor shower as well. Meteor shower oh. is a cool one. I've always liked meteor things in the game. Yeah, they but are. We have winter storm, which will winter happen storm next it is. week. And excuse me, has made the perfect quote here. Winter is coming. You yeah. kind of have to go with that. Like you have to. Like when we were doing the winter catastrophe, that was like I think one of the biggest like just things that everybody was just saying i think we should have just even like done that even more on the streams and everything like that but yeah oh you're gonna be nice you're gonna prepare <laughs> for it for the next guy <laughs> i'm going to prepare for it um <laughs> he was always such a nice guy he's like already making sure whoever's coming in next stream will be at a little bit of a help here thank you so much for all the people and chat and everybody who's been uh joining and tuning in on the stream it has been super fun just to see everybody uh, and just talk to everybody and everything and special thanks to you sir, for joining me in this stream it has been no so amazing to have I you I was here. happy to be here good let's see if we can get you in <laughs> after a few weeks as well like maybe we'll get you as a permanent visitor here at some point let's maybe <laughs> anyway thank you everybody for the stream we will be back next week at the same time same place so tune in next week as well